Good my people, let's take a trip down memory lane. Back when we were so much better looking, the laughter lines, the happy lines weren't as deep as what they were, the hair not as grey, and we owned the world. Let me go back to the 80s. Back in the day. Back in the day when there was the Soviet Union. And this particular drink was made, was, well, I always thought it was Russian. So, Fido, be quiet. This was my first introduction to vodka. Fido, I've told you once just to be quiet. And being fresh out of North Queensland, I had no real idea. You know, I, was, I was down in Melbourne, I was 2,000 kilometers away. My parents had no idea what I was doing. I was 19 and I was drinking. And I was drinking Stolichnia, which I can say because I'm sober. Couldn't say it when I was drunk. Um, they actually produced a chili version at one point, which gave me a absolute shocking headache and slowly had the reputation of basically going off like a fragmentation grenade. You drop a couple of stollies and all of a sudden just that's it, bang, and you spoke puking um, violently out of windows, which is what I did in Gertrude Street, Fitzroy, near the other corner of Smith Street, having had a fall of this in a um, rather cheap boarding house back in 1985. God, that's nearly 40 years ago. Shit. Where has the time gone? Raising children, being helped to marry, that's where it's gone. So, this is Dolly. This is the first vodka that a lot of people from my generation tried. This has been in my freezer, as you can see. It's 38%. It hasn't quite frozen, but for God's sake, photo, I said, get a break. Um, it was just basically the vodka that a lot of us drank. This, Smirnoff, Absolute, it's what was available back in the day. Almost every Australian vodka that you were drinking now was just not even a thought. Most of the distillers were too young to be drinking back when I was drinking this. In fact, I can think of good half of them weren't even born. Now I'm showing my age. So, this was the go-to back in the in the 80s, the benchmark. Um, for God's sake, fighter, shut up! Otherwise I'm going to turn you into cat nibbles. So, let's have a try this. Fido, just give it a break, or otherwise I'm going to take you off to be de-sexed. Compared to every Australian whiskey that you will drink today, this is, for God's sake, Fido, cut! Yeah, that's how rough it is. Any rougher, and it would be making the barking noises of my dog, Fido. Actually, I should christen my dog, Stolly. Down, Stolly. Stop barking, Stolly. This is downright rough. The only Australian vodka I can think of that it would compare to would be White Light. Okay, and White Light, when you compare it to Archie Bros, uh, Imbue Distilleries, what else are we looking at in terms of vodka in Australia? Most of the navies are a damn sight smoother. This is simply rough, which is the reason why, for God's sake, photo, shut up. Um, I've got a dog barking in the background. This is just rough. Okay, 38 percent. It's out of Latvia, Riga, which was back in the Latvian SSR, and you know you have to have had a lot of a lot of communism to be drinking this. In fact, I'm not communist at all. I'm a little bit to the right of communism. Um. I will more likely be part of this one of my friends. It's a classic, it's $55 a bottle where I bought it in Sandown Cellars. And to be honest with you, I think that's about value for money. I wouldn't be spending much more than $55 on this. This is just garbage when you compare it to anything else. Port Phillip, um, well, yeah. Let me pull up another vodka. Chief Sons vodka, first rate, very sippable. Um, Port Phillip Distilleries, the gin dispensaries, vodka, they all shit all over this vodka by daylight. So this is $55 a bottle, which means it's pretty easy to buy. But if I was to drink this in the same proportions as well, I like drinking my Australian vodkas, I'm going to end up with that nasty hangover I had back in the 20s. The difference is I'm now pushing 59. 
I don't have the time to um, go having the hangovers that I had back then because then I could be hungover for a week and who gave a shit. Um, I'm hungover, hungover for a week and I've got a wife who'll chew my ass like bubblegum. Okay, so this is Stolly. It's, you know, if you must, it's a Latvian experience. It's one that I intend to more likely heavily dilute in cocktails. Um, apart from that, it's just $55 you get what you pay for. So thank you very much, Fido. You can now just fuck off. Because, sorry, you used the wrong name. Stolly, just fuck off. But you're not going to fuck off. You're going to hit that subscribe button, aren't you? Okay, ciao.